You see this shit? I want to die. So I don't really bring politics onto this channel because honestly, my political stances don't really matter and if you watch this channel and agree with the things I say, we most likely hold pretty similar viewpoints anyway. But with that being said, I cannot stand politics. Observing what was arguably one of the most unnecessarily divisive and mentally draining elections back in 2016, it just boggled my mind how so many people viewed politics as this life or death, us versus them team sport. And despite how utterly retarded this line of thinking is, here we are, four years later, having to put up with the exact same garbage. It seems like the last two election cycles in particular involved so much mind-numbing dogma and retardation from both parties, so much so that as a libertarian with pretty moderate political stances, I don't really have anywhere to go. Like, who the hell do I choose? Joe Biden, who is pushing the same neolib garbage platform from 2016 that loves to parade itself around for being a champion of minorities and civil rights, but throws all of that out the window when it comes to issues like gun ownership or repealing the Patriot Act. Or Donald Trump, a guy who loves to jerk himself off for being a no-nonsense president, but yet has shown that he's willing to ignore science and blame literally everyone but himself whenever something doesn't go his way. It angers me more than anything else. Like, yeah, it's the first election I'll actually be able to vote in, and all of US politics has just evolved into senile boomers yelling at each other. Actually, wait. No, I think Trump and Biden are both too old to be boomers, so, uh... Take for that what you will. It seems like more so this year than in 2016, people aren't voting for platforms or politics, but they're just voting for whoever their team is and nothing else. I'm seeing this mindless rhetoric from both sides, and I'm not coming from this as one of those enlightened centrist types either. For example, if you think Democrats are some sort of infallible political collective, remind me again which party Rod Blagojevich belonged to. So like I said, I feel as if moderates like myself have nowhere to turn to, and it feels as if there's this increasingly popular narrative that if you don't fully subscribe to a party rhetoric, you might as well be supporting the other side. The bullshit coming from US politics right now stems from more than just who the candidates are, but also the attitudes of the people who support them. I don't think I've lost faith in humanity more than whenever I see some kind of political exchange on Twitter or Reddit. Now I know that these people aren't exactly representative of the US population as a whole, but the fact that there are enough people in this country who think this way for me to even notice just shows how we're in a pretty sad state of affairs right now. Now, me personally, I don't really care who you vote for, as long as you're voting for someone for the right reasons. If you're voting Joe Biden because you want greater protections for, say, LGBT people for instance, Hey, that's a perfectly valid reason. And likewise, if you're voting Trump because of the pressure he's putting on China, that's also perfectly valid. Or if you're just voting a third party based on your personal principles, that works too. But if you're voting for someone just for the sake of pwning the other side, you're a moron, plain and simple. I would much rather someone make an informed decision and vote for a candidate I don't like than vote for one that I do like but for dumbass reasons. Like people just suddenly forget how to think for themselves once election year rolls around, and they just vote for whoever their party says to vote for and agrees with whatever party dogma is pushed out. Our democracy can't exactly function properly if we just keep putting in the bare minimum effort when it comes to choosing who we want to run the country. Another thing I see too that boggles my mind is the blind fanaticism for different political candidates. People showing moderate support or taking a nuanced approach to politics is becoming more and more rare, and honestly, I don't really get it. To the people who think this way, in this kind of politically fanatical sense, do you really think that Biden or Trump actually care about you? Really? To the point where a great deal of your personal identity is tangentially tied to your blind devotion to a particular candidate? And it's always these people who can never see any kind of reason to think a different way. If you think differently or have another perspective, you're just an ignorant bigot who needs to be educated on what's truly good for the country. Like somehow your very limited worldview supersedes any and all opposing viewpoints. It's goobers like this who vote straight red or straight blue each election cycle, but cannot recall any political stances of the candidates they're voting for, besides maybe the presidential candidates. And th even then, that's a hard maybe. It's these type of smooth brain charlatans who will chastise someone for not voting, but then complain when someone votes for a candidate that they didn't pick because they have a different worldview than they do. Basically, vote team red or team blue, or you're an idiot who hates democracy. As ironic as that statement is. Either way, it's pretty clear to me that this election cycle has been polluted with nothing but circle jerking morons who do not care what the people of the country actually want. I think you'll find that the vast, vast majority of people are pretty moderate politically and want much of the same thing. But because of how both sides have portrayed themselves to the media and to voters, everyone has just thrown constructive political discourse aside for the sake of helping their team win. Thinking with any kind of nuance is simply not allowed anymore. Either fall in line with party dogma or get the hell out. And I'm sure four years from now, we'll get another election that's pretty much the same as this one that equates to either shooting yourself in the hand or shooting yourself in the foot. Either way, you're taking a bullet for some self-serving jackass.
Absolutely fuck that.